I can't believe this is the last video of 2022 and, and what a year it's been. It's, it's not the easiest year, but nonetheless, I, I think I've definitely grown as a photographer and as a person as well. And I never meant for this to, to become a thing where my final video of each and every year is always dedicated to setting yourself up for photographic success in a new year where most folks are talking about maybe highlights or, or memorable moments or their, their favorite photos they created during the year ending where we're always talking about on this channel photographic improvement or I guess stated differently, photographic advancement in the new and upcoming year. I actually had to, to go back and confirm this trend where my final video for each of the past four years is always about this topic. So in order to keep that tradition alive and well, this final video of 2022 is all about how Instagram, of all things, will set you up for photographic improvement and photographic success in 2023. Now, I want to preface this by saying I, I have always been a, a, a big proponent of goal setting. Now, this is perhaps a, a carryover from my, my long career in the corporate world where goal setting was always a very, very intricate part of my, uh, of my kind of, uh, I guess, planning for each and uh, every upcoming year. So that kind of carryover has been uh, something that uh, I have taken with me since my career in the, the corporate world has come to an end. And every year, usually about the week before the new year begins, I spend some time creating goals around what I want to achieve and what I want to accomplish in the upcoming year. Now, once you've been doing this with photography for a few years, it becomes a bit of a challenge sometimes to constantly be coming up with new goals or things to improve upon in the, in the new year outside of saying things like, I just want to get better at photography or I want to get better at composition or I want to get better at editing. Those are all very, those are all very important things, but they're, they're not very specific and it's kind of hard to quantify whether or not you actually are getting better at such a, such a, a goal, I should say. So I think that trying to figure out a way to create meaningful goals for the upcoming year is of the utmost importance. And this kind of brings me to, to Instagram. Now, I am not a, a huge proponent of social media. Now, I don't consider YouTube social media. I consider social media for me, uh, things like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Vero, things like that. And anyone who follows me on any of those platforms probably has, has seen this before where I don't really put a ton of effort into social media. I put a ton of effort into the photographs that I post on social media, but I'm not out there chasing the, the algorithms. I, I post on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook once, maybe twice a week at the very most. And I usually will just copy and paste the text that I put on one social media platform and then share it across the other. I don't, uh, I, I don't put a ton of effort into it. I guess that's, a, that's ultimately what I'm trying to say. But what is so amazing about Instagram is that and I think that Instagram does this hands down better than any other social media platform out there, is just the way that it's designed. So you can go to a photographer's website, for example, and you go to their website and you have to go to their portfolio, you have to go to their gallery. It takes a few extra steps to see that photographer's work. Cool thing about Instagram is you can go to a photographer's Instagram grid and within one swipe, you can see all of their recent photographs and within a matter of seconds, be able to tell you know what type of work this photographer happens to be into, whether or not you like this work, whether or not you think it's good work or, or poor work, or whatever the case may be, you get a very quick idea as to the type of photography a person is into within a matter of seconds. Now, how you can use this to create goals for yourself, and remember, you know what I was saying, that I used to struggle trying to come up with photographic goals because like I said, it's, it's hard to every year come up with something that is a, a meaningful and a little bit different from years past outside of things like just get better at this or get better at that. So what I have been doing the last few years, and this has really helped me to come up with ideas to, uh, for, for goal setting from a, a photographic perspective is to go to your Instagram page. And this is kind of, there's, there's two parts to this. The first part is go to your own Instagram page and look at the first 15 or maybe 20 lines of your grid. Now, depending on how often you post, I only post once a week. So when I go to my top 15 or 20 lines on my Instagram grid, that pretty much is going to show me, for the most part, everything that I posted in the year prior because everything in your Instagram grid is in chronological order. And what I do is I spend maybe five or 10 minutes and I go through these 15 or 20 lines and I try and identify my top five favorite photographs. And once you've identified what these five photographs are, get a pen and paper 
and write down what you like most about these five photographs. Once you've done that, write down what those top five photographs have in common. What are the commonalities between those five things? And then the third portion of this is to write down the things that are, are, are absent from those photographs. Or stated differently, where the, the variety is lacking. What's really cool about this is when you write down the common themes, things you like about these five photographs, that's basically going to answer the next thing which is the, the where the variety is lacking. So for instance, and this is from my, my own personal experience, I would look through my top, um, you know, my last year's worth of Instagram photographs and I would be able to quickly realize that almost all of these are wide angle photographs. So that might be something that I really enjoy about it, but it's also going to tell me that there is something where that, that is something where the variety is lacking. And maybe that would be a goal for the upcoming year is to focus more on intimate scenes, whether that's with a macro lens or maybe with a, a telephoto lens. Or maybe you look through your, your, your top five uh, photographs from the previous year, maybe they're all black and white photographs, or maybe they're all in color. Whatever the case may be, identify why you like those five photographs, what are the common themes, and where is the variety lacking? And that is going to give you a very clear inclination or very clear idea as to what potential very good goals could be for the upcoming year as to how you could improve your photography. Now, the second portion of this, and I think this is super, super powerful, is to take a few moments and write down your top five favorite photographers, whoever they are, and then go to their Instagram grids and look at their 15 to 20 lines, their top 15 to 20 lines, which could basically be everything they posted in 2022. Maybe it's everything they posted in the last five years, or maybe it's everything they posted in the last month. It's really dependent on how often that person posts photographs to Instagram. Nevertheless, go through their recent work and go through the same exact exercise. Write down or identify their top five photographs that you really enjoy. Write down what are the things that you like most about them and then try and figure out what those common themes are. And then you basically take all that information, what you wrote down about your own Instagram grid, what you wrote down about your favorite photographer's Instagram grids, and take that information and kind of commingle it and that it will basically give you a ton of information as to what you really enjoy in your own photograph. And it'll help you to identify areas of your own photography that are lacking. It'll also help you to identify what you really appreciate and admire in the photographs of the, of the photographers that you look up to most. So that is a great way to get new and fresh ideas and real solid goals that can help you improve your photography in 2023 because Anybody who is into photography, more than likely your goal for the upcoming year is to improve. The only real question is what do you want to improve on and how are you going to improve upon it? So that's kind of the, the goal setting aspect that I'm going to go through this year. I've gone through the same kind of exercise the past few years and it has greatly helped me to get a little bit more creative and think outside of the box when it comes to setting goals because I have documented my last four year journey uh, on YouTube. And anyone who's followed this channel for any amount of time has uh, been able to, to realize that I have completely pushed myself outside of my comfort zone in so many different ways. And I'm glad that I have because not only has it made me a better photographer, it has made me better at my job. It has also made, made me a better person just by getting outside of what I'm comfortable doing and just pushing those boundaries. And I think that's very, very important to real long-term and sustainable growth in, in anything is to make yourself as uncomfortable as possible and you'll ultimately be able to achieve things in a much more effective and a, a much more uh, improved manner, I should say. So I hope that uh, that information is, is helpful. And I do want to say that just thank you, honestly, the, for the last four years, for everything that uh, you all have done for me in 2022, it's been absolutely incredible. This ride has been, I get goosebumps even talking about it, has been something that I never in a million years would have ever thought would happen to me. And I owe all of that to you. So thank you so, so very much from the bottom of my heart. I very much appreciate you watching the videos, sharing the videos, taking the time to subscribe to the channel or, or leave comments on the videos. I might not be able to respond to all the comments, but I read almost every single one of them. I can't guarantee I read them all because they, they come in at all different times. I should say since the videos are posting or have been posted, I, I digress. You, you get what I'm saying. It really, really means a lot to me. So I just wanted to thank you for that. And I'm really looking forward to uh, another incredible 2023. I've got a ton of uh, new and fresh ideas for this YouTube channel that I hope everybody will enjoy. So wherever you are in the world, 
Hope you're having a, uh, an amazing holiday season. Happy New Year to you all. And I wish you all nothing but success and uh, good health and, uh, and uh, a peaceful and exciting and happy 2023. So thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And I will see you all next Wednesday. Bye.